big day is upon us. It is honey extraction day. We're down at Dad's getting set up. There's the bee master himself. He's getting everything all ready. We got an extractor. That'll be fun to watch. These are the stations for cutting the cappings off the frames. Got some strainers there. It's all set to go. We got all kinds of uh, beekeepers coming with their with their hives, so it'll get pretty wild. See if we can find a place to set up a camera and capture all the action. Okay, the operation is up and running. Dad's holding the extractor from going wonky. And here they are. This is called decapping, so they take a knife and they just kind of scrape the tops off and that allows the honey to flow out in the centrifuge. Hopefully I can be heard here. And uh, the outside team has been bringing these hives in. The trick is getting the hives out. You want to be on YouTube? I'm famous. I have thousands of potential viewers. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. There's the extractor doing its thing. I think it takes 12, 12 frames in this guy. Now it spins around, the honey hits the side walls, drips down and goes out into a bucket, presumably. Oh my heavens, look at that. Now it's taken more cap than you want, maybe. No? Oh, because you're going right along the wood there. This is the outside crew. Got the station here where the bees are blown off of the supers. And we got the guy trying to pry the super off, which is always fun. The bees have something called propolis. 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 And it, uh, they use it as glue, and it glues these things together. So it's... Bee gorilla glue. Yeah. It takes a lot of work to... Get her off. That one popped off, so that one's pretty light. This one, yeah, I think it's just mainly going to be... They've been pulling uh, yeah, comb on there, haven't they? Oh. Well, I got stung because I wasn't wearing gloves. Duh. All right, I've managed to get stung there. twice now. The bees aren't usually thrilled about this part of the operation. And as you can see, they basically swarm all over. They'll find a way to get in. But there you go. That's what a beehive looks like. There's way more in there than you think when you're just looking at them from the outside. Once they get stirred up. I would say these bees are a little more aggressive than uh, we've seen prior. Here you can see some of the comb. There's some of the comb that the bees are putting the honey into. Before these boxes and frames are taken in, they have to be cleaned off.
God and I am not Remind me of what I forgot The flowers are a hopeful remnant Of winter's curse That's all angry bees. Yeah. We're not too young. Sorry, ladies. All right, what we see here is the extractor. <laughs> so you want to know how Dave and Nancy stay young? This is it. You get you one of these. This is it. It's a good wax there. Stop shaking, all of them are even. And they're all, you know, pretty. Yeah, thanks for that. Well, I put the wax we cut off in here, the salad spinner. Yeah. Oh, that's a salad spinner. Yeah. I thought maybe it was a special bee spinner. And then you just start pumping. I feel like you should go faster. Well, it's getting hard to pump, which means it's pretty well done. Well. And it got all that extra honey out of it. That's the best honey right there. Here's the bee. Mom found a bee. He's not. We have not had a lot of bees in here. Carefully hand the bee to the bee removal. That's a yellow jacket. That was a yellow jacket. Get out of here. What's he doing? Robert. Lousy yellow jacket. He yellowed his last jacket. You understand? Okay, so after the extractor's done, it comes down into this container. This is the honey we spun out of the wax oh. from the salad spinner. So this is the remainder of Dad's honey. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, well after deductions. I know all those neighbors that got stung were at Gail and Shelley's were in No, I gotta, I gotta pay them off. Four four gallon buckets of honey and a tub of beeswax. That's from our hives at Geezer Bees. And then uh, our buddy Rim Chisels, they had a lot. They, he had something like six hives and so he got about six gallons and dad dad's got four four hives and he got six gallons dad had about two two and a half three hives and he's got he's got three gallons there so record breaking day here at the honey extraction Cleanup is the biggest task. We got the best cleaner up. We're working on it right now. All the uh, stuff that got honey on it. That's the tablecloth we were doing the work on. These are all the leftover hives. The bees are cleaning these all out. I won't hang around there too much. This is the extractor. The bees will be working on cleaning that out for a while. A very nice day, a great day of extracting honey. Good grief, we've got so much honey. It was a really good year. A lot of people at the bee club had had really good years as well so beautiful Indiana day very very nice good to hang out with family and friends and just have a good time <laughs> with bees I got stung 
in the hand. So that's that's swollen up pretty well. But uh, that's I think I'm the only one. I think Dad got stung in the finger. But other than that, not too bad. God and I am not. Remind me of what I forgot.